what's going on guys welcome to the channel um, today is something I've been looking forward to for a long time with this truck uh, I've been fighting an issue with the shifter and I haven't really said anything because I've been waiting to do this video for you guys and I'm hoping it doesn't turn into a big long thing because these G56's are not cheap to work on but I'm really excited about today because I'm going to change the shifter itself um, to a shorter shifter, uh, different different shifter altogether. Shifting up into fifth and down into fifth, um, it's making a really, really nasty noise. And I'm starting with the shifter because one, that's the cheapest place to start. And two, the isolator on the shifter, and I'll show you this in a while, is uh, is pretty loose, and it it clicks. So I'm hoping you guys heard that. Sorry about the dark video, but it is what it is. I don't have any light down there. So going in to fifth, either up into fifth or down into fifth, and it doesn't do it all the time, but there's a weird crunching noise and it's only going into fifth. So what I think it is, is So what I think it is, is this isolator right here, and hopefully you guys can hear me. So this isolator, you can see some movement down there. Hopefully you guys can see the movement. And you can hear that. So that isolator's got a lot of movement, and it's got a little bit of a noise to it. And I'm hoping, hoping, that it's some weird thing with the residents going into fifth, because fifth gear has always kind of been my trouble gear. I'm kind of hoping that that has something to do with it, and it's just rattling in that res that uh, isolator. So, what I'm going to be putting in it is this. This is a Laser Smith short 10 degree uh, weighted shifter, kind of a mouthful. So, they do these in a lot of different angles, and I'm not worried about it being short because I'm kind of a long armed ape. Um, so there's a lot of ways you can get these. You can even get these in stock height if you really want to. This is a stainless shifter. I did not have them painted. I was thinking about having a you know, polish in it, but I want to get it in first to see if that's even going to fix my issue. So this weight right here, this would be your isolator. And it is an isolator. But on a weighted shifter, that isolator is pretty solid mounted. Um, now I know that that's gonna put a lot of more gear roll overnight in the cab because you don't have that rubber isolator taking the vibration from the shifter and the transmission. So I know that's gonna be it. And there's a couple other things. I mean, you can get them standard too where the isolator actually does its job, but I opted not to. Um, that's just a coincidence or a consequence I'm gonna have is not having that isolator in there to take up the gear roll over noise but this should be a pretty straightforward kind of a change the only thing i'm going to have trouble with is getting the factory shifter off i've never actually taken one of those off i know how it's done i don't know how much it's going to fight us so i'm going to show you guys how to get this changed and then we're going to go for a ride and see how it feels factory shifter uh, see down there not much to see but there is a rubber isolator in there and I really do think that's where my issue is coming from hopefully 
Uh, if not, we're gonna be opening up another bag of worms. I don't want to deal with it. So, size comparison. Good thing about a 14 wide wheel is you always have a workbench. So, lining up the bolts, you see the isolator's higher. Where this one's a weight, not an isolator. But anyway, it's higher than this one, which is gonna throw the shifter into gears a little better. And then you look up here, and you see this big, big difference in length. Now remember, when we put the shift knob on, it's going to come about there. So we're not losing too much. We're losing about a shifter's length. Which I told you guys I wasn't worried about because I am kind of a lanky ape. Um, so I should be able to get down there and get to this gear shift easy enough. So um, this is a really nice piece getting into it again. Uh, it's all stainless. Um, TIG welded, see a little notch in there, they even TIG welded notch in there, and it's it's a very, very you know, nice piece. I just had to wait, wait a while, because our postal system sucks, but anyway, that's not the point of the video, let's get this in there. So, uh, standard bolts, you have to find some wrenches, and yeah, we'll just get it in there. gonna sugarcoat this part we're uh, we're gonna be looking into a new shift knob we uh, we did the damage on this one we didn't want to do but we did it anyway so we will be looking into a new shift knob something I didn't really want to do but whatever there yep see now it looks like hell so We'll get a new shift knob. Maybe something a little, little stylish. So let me get my tools put away and then uh, we'll go for a ride with this new shifter. But already, uh, it's not, uh, man, I was worried about it being too short. But for my lanky ass self, my lanky, Ape cell, I think it's going to be just fine.
there's your drive with a new shifter. A um, couple things about it. I knew it was going to be a weird angle. Um, like I said before, a few other times, I'm not opposed to reaching down there for that shifter. <coughs> I knew it was going to add a lot of rollover noise, which you guys probably did hear. There is a lot of rollover noise. And it just, it feels a little more barbaric. Um, you can hear the shifts more, you can hear everything more. Uh, one thing I did hear, I don't know if I caught it on camera, but I am hearing that noise still, so I think it is in the tower. I'm gonna have to call, make a couple calls, and see what I can do with that tower. I know they're not cheap, and they're not easy to get anymore. So I'll have to figure out what to do with that shift tower. But just to clarify a few things, um, the Lasersmith short shifter, it's a really good quality. Um, I knew what I was getting into. I knew what it was gonna do as far as noise uh, and general feel. It feels better as far as, you know, solid shifts. Um, there's an art to getting these things to shift quick. Uh, they don't like it. And I'm gonna have to figure that out all over again. Um, which is fine, that's fine. Uh, but to clarify it, no one makes a short throw shifter for the G56 transmission. Uh, in order to get a true short short throw shifter, you have to change the tower itself, and, what, and it, it moves a pivot ball up. Um, does a whole bunch of things inside of it. They do not have one for the G56. So the only option for shortening the shift throw a little bit, which doesn't actually shorten the throw, is to put a shorter shifter on, and it it does. I mean, the, the leverage, angles and all that it, I don't even know what to get into but it, they're a little shorter a little quicker a little more solid because that isolator has gone um, real nice piece but uh, it looks like now we're gonna have to get into a few more things and one thing is a tower and then when we put the tower on we'll put the shifter we'll take the shifter out polish it because it's stainless and then we'll put a nicer shift knob on there but uh, that's what I wanted to get into today. Too bad that that didn't fix the noise. I really thought it was in the isolator and that other shifter. I was really hoping, but being in the, it was only fifth gear, I had my doubts. So we'll look into a tower. We'll see what our options are, and uh, we'll bring that to you guys. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Um, got a lot of things coming. I know I say that all the time, but. I'm trying to keep things rolling for you guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one, so thank you.